dead and major pot operation in California with markings of organized crime. Seven people were killed in a shooting at an illegal marijuana growing operation in Southern California that local authorities say bears the hallmarks of organized crime. Riverside County Sheriff deputies responded to a 911 call that assaulted the shots fired where it arrived. It was a large property in the remote mountain area area of Ooh, that's a hard one. They found uh, six people dead of gunshot wounds and a seventh person later seven person later died at the hospital. Look, the point is to get back to the whole there is power and value in this. Oh, yeah. And then and when I say that, it's deeper than just say the the license. Yeah, there's power in the license, there's value in the license, but when you look at it from the point of view like big bank take little bank no, if you're com- this is like this is like the dope game. Yeah, it's the dope game. It's like no, you're in the way. You feel me? Like you, you're cool. What we're doing here is on a big scale. People like this is drugs. Let's just really look at. It. There's no other way to look. This is drugs, and we're talking billions of dollars type of money that could change lives. And when I say change lives for the good or the worse, and clearly it happened for the worse in this situation, but in other cases it is for the best because right now a grow operation like this, I'm not sure if they said it, but it's like hold up. All right, wait. Deputies arrived. They found four hundred marijuana plants as well as more than a thousand pounds of processed marijuana with a street value from anywhere of a million to more than five million listen 400 <laughs> plants let's just do the math here 400 also plants? found equipment used to make hash oil oh, this is a... and remember this is the ownership you own this and this is a it's like like I, I I always like I'm just trying to imagine like yo, buying weed these days has gotten expensive and the premiums or it's probably gotten cheaper since back in the day. But say buying an ounce of bud was two hundred bucks, you buy an ounce of bud for two hundred. Literally, how much do you have to break that down or sell that for to make a full flip? You can't sell eighths or dubs. You're going to have to go nickel and diamond. Or I'm not sure. I'm just assuming. But I'm only using this math scenario to be like, how much does it now cost if you grow it? Time? What's time? Four months? Right. <laughs> so if you could do four months and you could put out and say you were buying an ounce for 200 you could now sell that same ounce if the market value was still the same for two, or you could even cut the market since you're paying nothing. Yeah, one fifty. I got ounces for one fifty. You could, if you could kick that out on a consistent basis on a court. Do you that? There's value in that. There's money. There's millions. I'm just saying, like this pro, because it's like the best way to put it is like if you rent a store and you sell, like say Best Buy. Let's just use that as an example. How much you think Best Buy would save if they didn't have to pay for rent? So, billions. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Or like, or or even let's use an even better example because this is what Apple is doing. 